Hello all, welcome to part 9 of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain the difference between SOAP APIs and REST APIs. So there are different types of APIs, okay, based on different uh, way of categorizing, we'll get different type of APIs. One of such kind of APIs are SOAP API and REST APIs, okay, SOAP APIs and REST APIs. Some applications use SOAP API, whereas some other applications use REST API and some applications use combination of both SOAP and REST. Okay, why it's so like that? Why the applications have to use different types of APIs and what exactly is the difference between SOAP and REST? All these things we need to understand. So let's get started. So here guys, okay, this is the topic. I already covered all these topics for you. Now we are at this uh, SOAP versus REST topic, okay? In the previous topic, API protocols types, uh, I explained different type of API protocol. You can also say architecture also here. I, I didn't mention architecture here. API protocol architecture types, you can say, because you cannot categorize simply saying protocol or you cannot categorize say API architecture types, okay? So neither API protocol types is correct, neither API architecture types is correct, okay? We have to say API protocol architecture types, okay? So here there are different types of APIs like there may be protocols or there may be art architecture. These APIs may be protocols or architectures. We don't know. That's why I'm saying API protocol architecture types as REST, SOAP, and RPC. Okay. Out of these things, I told you already 90%, 90% of the applications, okay, functionality uses these two APIs, that is REST and SOAP. Okay. REST and SOAP are falls into the 90% category. Remaining type of APIs may be 10%, okay? Now let's focus on the 90% area because this is what is exactly used, okay? Generally used in real time. Uh, we, uh, in, if you work in real time projects, right, you will come across REST and SOAP only, okay? Not about other things. So 90% is the focus area, okay? 90% of the projects use SOAP and REST. In that, in that 90%, SOAP is 20% of 90% and REST is 80% of 90%, okay? SOAP is used as, used by how much percent? Uh, here, somewhere here, it will be there, guys. Uh, let me see. SOAP and REST. So let me expand all so that we can see everything, if anything is, you see, here it's coming, okay? SOAP is only 20%, okay? When compared to REST, out of 90%, okay, in 100%, 90% is REST and SOAP. In that 90%, in that 90% share of APIs, the application functionality is using the APIs, 20% share is SOAP, whereas 80% share is REST, okay? 80% is REST, 20% is SOAP, okay? This is the thing. So here, what is SOAP then? Now we are comparing SOAP and REST, right? We are comparing SOAP and REST. Let me write down here so that uh, it, you can remember. This side I'll write SOAP and this side I'll write REST, okay? SOAP and REST. SOAP and REST. SOAP is 20% out of the 90%, guys, okay? Here, this uh, SOAP and REST are used for how much percentage? 90%, okay? In that, 20% is SOAP. 80% of 90% is REST, okay? So REST is used mostly, okay? REST is widely used when compared to SOAP is one thing that I explained and SOAP stands for the full form of SOAP is simple object access protocol. Okay. What is the full form of SOAP? Simple object access protocol. Okay. And coming to the rest, the rest is a representational state transfer protocol. Okay. What is rest full form? Representational Okay, representational state transfer, state transfer protocol. Representational state transfer protocol, okay. SOAP is simple object access protocol where the full form of REST is representational state transfer protocol. So here, here, so here SOAP is a protocol guys, okay. SOAP itself is a protocol. So whatever I have said in the previous uh, topic, right? API protocol types, SOAP is directly a protocol, okay? But what about REST? Then what about REST? Is it a protocol? Is REST a protocol? Is REST a protocol like SOAP? SOAP is a protocol by itself, okay? 
but rest uses okay but rest uses rest is not a protocol guys okay this is what is the difference that's why i'm saying api protocol architect types okay because soap is a protocol but rest is not a protocol rest is an architecture style okay but rest uses a protocol this architecture rest uses a protocol known as http protocol over internet okay the, uh, the api requests and responses will happen okay it uses http or https protocols okay this is an architecture case someone ask you what is soap soap is a protocol okay it's it's a protocol it's not an architecture but rest is a architecture which internally uses http protocol okay external protocol will be used by rest guys soap will have soap by itself is a protocol guys okay that's another difference so here i'll write down after the full form of the simple object uh, simple object access protocol and representational state pro pro protocol let me write down here okay it is a protocol okay it is a protocol whereas rest rest is a architecture another difference it's an architecture architecture which uses which protocol http or s protocol okay http or ps protocol okay fine so that's another thing but which one is secured which one is secured more secured rest or soap which one is secured soap is more secured guys okay soap is used in the applications which need more security guys okay generally soap is used in applications where security is the primary concern okay so if you go with military applications or kind of financial applications banking applications okay there soap is soap apis are more used because security is a main concern right for banking applications and military kind of applications security is a major factor so how so soap is more secured than rest soap supports ws security and ssl both okay soap supports two types of securities because of this ws security supporting soap is more secured why soap is more secured because of ws security it is more secured whereas rest is less secured than soap okay rest is less secured than soap because it only supports one of the one of the things in this ws security and ssl only ssl is supported here you see ssl is very old one okay right secured socket layer you can generally call but here because of ws security soap is very secured okay the applications which need the, their functionalities to be more secured right they generally use soap because it supports ws security and it's more secured when compared to the rest and uh, here i'll write down okay here it is more secured more secured when compared to rest whereas it is less secured less secured when compared to less secured when compared to soap okay because why it is more secured because ws uh, security and ssl because of ws security and it support ssl also but because of uh, ws security it is more secured okay because of ws security it's more secured whereas uh, rest only supports ssl okay less secured because it only supports ssl okay it doesn't support ws security but soap only supports the exchange of data between the client and server machines or whatever it is using xml data format only one data format is supported okay whenever you see in postman i gave you right in postman if i show you the postman here okay the data be, is data is being transferred okay in the from data format okay so i'll i'll open the postman for you and show you one of the example so that you can understand what is that xml and all let's wait uh, my so uh, postman is taking some time this version of postman is taking some time yeah it came fine guys okay it loaded fine here guys when i am sending the i think here i guess when i am sending the body i am sending the earlier it was some some email was there right here in the previous examples i explained about this something was there email uh, abc at the rate uh, gmail.com or something okay like this uh, some sorry some comma some password i think this also should be in double quotes it seems yeah now it's okay password password key is in double quote and colon let's say password is 1 2 3 4 for some random password i am giving let's say okay like this i am so this is in which format this is in json format okay this is what is json format apart from json format you see while while sending this request which is a post method request uh along with this request i am sending some email and password okay 
in order to register into the application, I'm sending some email and password or whatever it is. Okay. And in which format I'm sending in JSON form. This is what is JSON format. Guys. Okay. And also when I'm getting a response, for example, uh, here, say search is equal to HP. I'll say, okay. And click on send button here. I'm getting a response. I am getting a response in HTML format guys. Okay. It is an HTML format. So, or some JSON format. Okay. For, for example, here, this one, let's, let's go to request dot in otherwise, so that it will be more easy for me to explain guys. Otherwise it will be difficult. Different things have different things. List of users will take this API request. I'll take, I'll go to the postman. So I'll give this uh, get, get request and this URL and uh, click on the send button. I'll get a response here. In which response I'm getting, I'm I'm getting the response in which format here? JSON format. Whereas I here I'm getting the response in HTML format. Here response is coming in HTML format. Here response uh, will come in some other format. Okay. Here response is coming, but here response is coming in JSON format. So here request and response. Okay. In some cases the request uh, the body was there, right? So in one of the case there was body which is sent in the JSON format. In one of the case the response is coming in JSON format. So like that, different APIs will support different formats. So if you come to SOAP API, SOAP API, it supports only XML format. It doesn't support JSON format or any other format, okay? SOAP only supports which format? XML format, okay? The transferring of the data using the request or response, uh, getting the response back will come in the XML format, whereas REST will, okay? In REST, REST supports a lot of formats, guys, okay? SOAP only supports XML data format, whereas REST supports XML, HTML, JSON, okay? And many more, okay? XML, HTML, and JSON formats are supported by REST. But SOAP only supports XML format only, okay? Hope you got the idea now, okay? How they are supporting and what is data format, you got an idea with this practical demonstration. Now, next difference between SOAP and REST is, SOAP is heavyweight. SOAP is heavyweight, guys, as it requires more resources and bandwidth. When you use SOAP APIs, they are kind of slow. Uh, they are slow because they are heavyweight, guys, okay? So because, because of the security terms and all, right, that encryption decryptions will happen, because of that, SOAP is heavyweight. It's not lightweight, okay? So it, it, it takes a lot of internet bandwidth, okay? So more resources will be consumed from the computer, okay? The CPU and memory will be more, more CPU and more memory will be consumed and also more internet bandwidth will be consumed, okay? So SOAP is heavyweight, whereas REST is lightweight, okay? As it requests with, with few resources, few uh, like uh, RAM and CPU resources and uh, less internet bandwidth will be taken by REST. Another difference between SOAP and uh, REST is, SOAP is, what is the SOAP? SOAP is heavyweight. Heavyweight, whereas rest is rest is lightweight. Rest is lightweight. Okay, heavyweight and lightweight. Now, since it is heavyweight, the soap is very slow. Low speed cannot be cached. Also, okay, low speed and cannot be cached. If it is cached, it will be high speed, right? Now, for the next time, if you hit the same request, since it is already cached, you'll get the response very fast. But soap is low speed. At the same time, it's not cacheable. Okay low speed the speed will become low guys uh, in uh, uh, it will take a lot of time when compared to rest uh, to get the uh, response and all okay low speed and cannot be cached okay low speed and not cacheable okay whereas rest is speed high speed okay very fast high speed and can be cached can be cached these are few differences if it is cached, means speed will automatically increase. Okay, SOAP is generally used. Okay, despite of uh, SOAP is only supporting uh, XML data format, despite of SOAP being heavyweight, despite of SOAP so being very slow, still SOAP is being used by applications because security is a concern. The applications which have security as a concern, they will not give importance to the which data format this uh, API is supporting or whether it is uh, heavyweight, whether it is of slow speed. It doesn't matter, guys. Okay, applications which doesn't worry about this XML data format, heavyweight and low speed, and if their main concern is about the security, security related applications like banking, uh, military, okay, whatever transactions or whatever it is, the government related applications or banking applications or payment payment gateway applications, they use 
soap guys okay security is the main concern they are not worried about the speed they are worried about the security here okay that's why 20 percent of the applications out of this 90 percent share which are using used by 90 percent of functionalities which are using rest and soap in that 90 percent 20 percent share goes to soap when compared to rest okay and also guys in programming when you when you when you write some application code and this application code has to interact with some api calls this application when, whenever you click on whenever you enter username password and click on the login button on the application a request will be sent to the server right okay so how the application will in, uh, will uh, will actually call this uh, apis uh, uh, here for example what i am talking about is when i go to this application guys here if i go to this login page and if i enter some email address and uh, some valid email address and valid password the moment i click on login a request will be sent to the server right a request will be sent to the server but the application developers of this uh, the the people who have written the code for these developers how they are when someone clicks on login button how the application is developed in such a way that a request will be sent to the server that is possible with the help of java apis for soap okay so if if this particular application is developed using java programming language in that case jx ws is the java api guys that will be used by the java programmers along with the java programs okay along with using the java api they use jx ws api okay this will make the connection between the java programs and the soap api calls okay java programs need to trigger the api calls due to some conditions in the application when you click on the login a request has to be sent in that case to for the request to happen java program has to initiate the api call of soap for that reason java java programming language uses which api jx jax okay jx ws okay jax ws uh, api it will use okay so here uh, which type of applications use government banking uh, kind of okay so other projects use rest guys okay other projects use rest okay here i'll write down first of all okay so already 20 percent 80 percent i said here which kind of projects will use government projects if you have, if you have to give examples government uh, payments etc okay security related projects will use normal projects will use normal projects which uh, doesn't uh, doesn't have the security as their main agenda okay will use normal projects with use what rest okay so because it is lightweight and all those stuff okay why they why people want to go with heavyweight when security is not the concern so rest is 80 percent and most of the functionalities uh, are not bothered about security so 80 percent goes to rest that's the reason and other thing what i was explaining here uh, uh jx jax ws okay is the api if, if you are building the application using java programming and that java programming of the application has to uh you know, you know uh, invoke the apis or call the apis they use jax ws api okay so java will use jax ws api the code written using java will uh, will be calling this uh, whatever the methods or commands provided by jax ws api to make the uh, api soap api calls okay to make the soap api calls what about uh, coming to the rest 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 uses j a x only but not w s it's r s okay j a x r s api okay java programming when they have to do this rest api calls uh, will will use j x r s apis internally to call them okay so and uh, known for simplicity simplicity guys okay rest is known for simplicity simple to build and scale guys okay and compared to soap soap is heavy uh, and uh, rest is lightweight and sim simple okay lightweight and simple okay here only i can write lightweight simple and scalable simple and scalable because of its lightness it can be uh, it is very simple to use and scalable guys okay so these are the differences between soap and rest okay these are the differences between soap and rest okay soap ho hope you guys understood soap is a protocol whereas rest is an architecture though i explained api protocol types and said that rest and soap are protocols but here it's not the case soap is a protocol but rest is an architecture which internally uses http or ps protocols okay okay so that's uh, you should have this kind of knowledge guys okay before going to the further uh, topics right you should have this knowledge of what is soap what is rest and why these apis are used by different functionalities of the application how they differ between each other which applications uses which type of apis and all why they use and all you have to understand okay so hope guys you understood uh, the difference between soap and uh, rest in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to uh, explain another API testing concept for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.